Hey, this is Brian Stevens here with BasicPlumbingRepair.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to fix a Moen kitchen faucet that's leaking around the handle when you turn the water on. So let's have a look at it. Okay, here's the faucet. When you turn it on, the water comes out right around here. Okay, the water is on now, and you can see the water coming out right around here, and it shouldn't be doing that. So we're going to fix it. Okay, so this problem is most likely caused by a defective cartridge, and this is a replacement cartridge. It's a Moen 1225B cartridge. Okay, the first thing you want to make sure you do before you remove the cartridge is to turn the water off. In this case, we're going to turn it off here at the shutoff under the kitchen sink. So there should be a hot shutoff and a cold shutoff, and that will make sure that when you take the cartridge out, of the faucet handle here, you don't wind up with an episode of the Lucy show and water hitting the ceiling. Okay, so we raise the handle to make sure that the water is actually turned off. This particular faucet, you remove, take a, just a sharp object, a knife or whatever, just pry off the little cover and there's a hole that gives you access to an Allen wrench. So you need your handy dandy little Allen key here. Okay, on this particular faucet I have removed the set screw which allows the handle to come right off. Now you see under here a little adapter. The next thing you want to do is just unscrew this shroud right here. That shows your little adapter. And then the adapter, as you can see, has a Phillips head screw in it. And so I'm going to take this pair of channel locks, just hold the adapter while I unscrew the screw. Take it right off. Then, that pull this little plastic thing off here. Okay, so the, the goal, and every faucet is not going to be the same, but in this particular faucet, the goal, you, you need to get it exposed down so that you can access that clip. So in this one, we're going to take off this little black thing, which unscrews here. Now, that accesses the clip. So what you need to do with the clip now, is just take a flathead screwdriver, put it in a little notch, and pry the clip out of there. And then... The cartridge is ready to come out. Okay, pause. We're going to take the stem of the faucet. We're going to pull it up. Take this little ring off that's in the way. It's just a little spacer. Okay, we got all the, the brackets and everything holding the cartridge in place. Now we just got to pull it out. And sometimes it just requires a little bit of force. Oh, okay, we got it out. Got the mess here. Because this little clip right here is going to go basically around these ears through some notches here. There's a trick to doing this, a little bit of a trick. You see this thing's got little ears on it. We want to make sure these ears line up with the notches in the faucet body. So when you push the cartridge in, you'll get a little water out, but that's okay. And then use the tool here to seat it the rest of the way. And then you put your little horseshoe clip in and push it all the way in. And that's it. Now the cartridge is in, and the next thing we've got to do is make sure we have it twisted right. Okay, the next step is to turn the water back on under the cabinet. Okay, we got the water back on. We pull this up, we dry it around it, there's no water leaking out there, so that's good. Now what we've got to do though is make sure that we got the cartridge in properly, because if you can see this handle will spin around all the way around. And if we, got, if we don't have it turned the right way, then the hot will be on the wrong side and the cold will be on the wrong side. So, so turn it this way and see if it gets hot or cold. It's turning the right way. So we'll turn it off and we'll put the handles and stuff back on. So, okay, so you just want to put everything back on in the reverse order you took it off. So the first thing to go back on is going to be this black retainer. Okay, the next step is to put this little gray ring on. If you remember, one side this is a little higher than the other. And if you remember when you took, we took this off, this was on front. So if you don't remember that, I, I did. So that's the way it goes. you got to make sure you put that on the same way. Okay, the next step is to put the little handle adapter on. But first, we want to put this little spacer back on. And it fits on some notches that are on the very end of the stem, like you can see the old one here. And that just keeps the handle from going down too far and cracking. So it gives a little spacer for the adapter. Ooh, that dropped the screw. So see this thing has got a little place that, on the bottom of it that fits onto the stem and then it's got a screw that goes in the top and this little part swivels around. So, I want to make sure we put the screw in and then 
Just set this back on top like that and tighten it all up. And you don't have to really get it super tight. It was on there pretty tight and had to take it off with the channel lock. But if you just hold it with your hands and snug it down, pretty good. It'll be fine. And for the very next step, and the last step is to... Oh, forgot to put the little shroud back on. So put the shroud back on. Now the last step is to install this back in. So you want to put the little set screw back in and get it started. The last step in the process is to go ahead and put the little decorative button back on and there we go. And you can see there is no water coming out around here. It's all fixed. Okay, that's all there is to fixing a Moen single lever kitchen faucet.